Good morning and welcome to Daily Prayers on Monday. I've built this week's Daily Prayers around the Church of England's Lent material for this year called Dust and Glory, which was written by Emma Einstein, Bishop of Kensington. And this week I'll be looking at the theme of failure. But let's start with this prayer for Lent. My Lord and my God, take everything from me that keeps me from thee. My Lord and my God, give everything to me that brings me near to thee. My Lord and my God, take me away from myself and give me completely to thee. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Today's reading is from Jonah, starting at chapter 3, verse 3, and continuing to chapter 4, verse 5. Jonah obeyed the word of the Lord and went to Nineveh. Now Nineveh was a very large city. It took three days to go through it. Jonah began by going a day's journey into the city, proclaiming, Forty more days and Nineveh will be overthrown. The Ninevites believed God. A fast was proclaimed, and all of them, from the greatest to the least, put on sackcloth. When Jonah's warning reached the king of Nineveh, he rose from his throne, took off his royal robes, covered himself with sackcloth, and sat down in the dust. This is the proclamation he issued in Nineveh. By the decree of the king and his nobles, do not let people or animals, herds or flocks, taste anything. Do not let them eat or drink, but let people and animals be covered with sackcloth. Let everyone call urgently on God. Let them give up their evil ways and their violence. Who knows, God may yet relent and with compassion turn from his fierce anger so that we will not perish. When God saw what they did and how they turned from their evil ways, he relented and did not bring on them the destruction he had threatened. But to Jonah this seemed very wrong and he became angry. He prayed to the Lord, Isn't this what I said, Lord, when I was still at home? That is what I tried to forestall by fleeing to Tarshish. I knew that you are a gracious and compassionate God, slow to anger and abounding in love, a God who relents from sending calamity. Now, Lord, take away my life, for it is better for me to die than to live. But the Lord replied, is it right for you to be angry? Jonah had gone out and sat down at the place east of the city. There he made himself a shelter, sat in its shade, and waited to see what would happen to the city. This is Emma Einstein's reflection. During the COVID pandemic, we got a bit of an insight into the blooper reel of other people's lives. From people being interrupted on Zoom calls, forgetting that they were only correctly dressed from the waist up, and the various connectivity issues, you're on mute, etc. These mini disasters actually brought us closer as we all muddled along together. Failure can be endearing, Seeing other people as vulnerable and human too can be quite comforting. Jonah's failure is quite endearing and funny. At first he tries haplessly to run away. Then when the people of Nineveh listen to his warning and change their ways, he stomps around the city, throws a strop at God for being merciful to them and goes off to sulk under a tree. But other failures have the opposite effect. When a politician has lied or someone says something hurtful on social media, we feel angry. Different types of failure elicit very different responses. What failures in others do you find funny or endearing? 
And what failures do you find offensive and dangerous? Why do you think this is? We come to our time of prayer. So God, help us this Lent to persevere in what we have chosen to abstain from and to help us in our prayer lives. When we fail, help us to learn from our failures so we might serve you better. And a space for our personal petitions now. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. And the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. <laughs>